Michelle F. Neff Hernandez is the founding president and executive director of the Soaring Spirits Lost Foundation. Soaring Spirits is a nonprofit organization committed to providing resources and peer support to people grieving the loss of a loved one with a special focus on those who are widowed. Michelle is the creator, the director of the Camp Widow Program, a first of its kind event, bringing together widowed people from across the country and around the world who are seeking to recreate their lives in the aftermath of the loss of a spouse or life partner. This program is available on both coasts in the United States and has touched the lives of hundreds of widowed people since its inception in 2009. Michelle has been recognized by Congressman Elton Gallagher with a special congressional recognition for her work in founding Soaring Spirits Loss Foundation and was honored with the Simi Valley Community <coughs> Foundation's Humanitarian Award for 2010, among other reward, awards. Michelle is a member of the Board of Directors of the Liz, Liz Lojolin Foundation and sits on the National Advisory Council for the Open to Hope Foundation. Michelle's impact on the lives of widows is deep and far-reaching. She has taken tragedy in her own life, turned it into selfless service, and serves as an inspiration to us all. Michelle, it is our honor to present you as the 2014 Woman of the Year. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it is a humbling honor to be standing in front of you today accepting this award, especially to be accepting this award in the company of so many other incredible women, and to the very intelligent men who know where all the ladies are today. <laughs> um, you know, when I think back on my life and think about for a minute, that minute when I graduated from high school, and I thought I would go out into the world and do extraordinary things. I'm not sure I knew exactly what those things would be, but I hoped that they would be extraordinary. Um, the word extraordinary brings to mind wonderful and amazing. And when you think about it though, extraordinary means out of the ordinary. And the out of the ordinary, out of the ordinary experience of losing the love of my life at 35 was not exactly the kind of extraordinary I was thinking of. Um, and yet, that extraordinary experience has brought into my life so many extraordinary people, including many of you who are sitting here today. As I listened to our wonderful keynote speaker today, I thought about so many of the lofty goals that we have as women and as humankind. And I thought, we also have the opportunity, each one of us, every day, to turn the ordinary into extraordinary. To take the life experiences that life brings us, both the wonderful and the horrible, and turn those into extraordinary moments that will change not only our lives, but the lives of everyone we touch. There's a wonderful quote that says, a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. And it is my goal to continue to light candles for widowed people around the world. And I hope that you will join me in thinking about what candles you might light. Because we all have that opportunity. We lose nothing by lighting someone else's candle. But the illumination created by those candles is what changes the world. Is what makes us capable of the lofty goals to which we aspire. 
As you know, the fact that I have a flame means that it was lit also by someone else. And I want to take a few minutes to thank the people who have continued to feed my ability to pass my flame to others. First, I want to start with the First Ladies of the Simi Valley Hospital Foundation. What a beautiful day. Thank you so much. And thank you for the amazing work you do. I never imagined on the day my husband died in the Simi Valley emergency room that I would be standing here today helping raise money um, to make sure that other families who experience the kind of tragedy we did have the care they need um, in the best facility possible. So I honor all of you very much for that effort. Thank you. You know you have a good friend when your friend calls you every day, I kid you not, every day. Are you so excited? This week, this is the week, this is the week. I'm so excited. She's doing a dance in her skin. My friend Terry Marvin has been with me on this. Please do cheer Terry Marvin. Many of you know her and her enthusiasm. She has been with me since the very beginning and every time I come up with another crazy idea, she just gets the media to show up. Um, I want to very much thank Ted and Kathy Weiner for their generous uh, hosting of our table today and welcoming my parents and my husband. Thank you very much for that. Speaking of parents, I am going to embarrass them and ask them to stand. These are my parents, Stan and Kathy Neff. We heard today about both devoted mothers and devoted fathers, and I am the very, very fortunate beneficiary of both. My children are not here today. Um, they are out doing a variety of other things. My daughter is interviewing for her very first job after graduating from college, probably right this second. Um, they were my reason for getting up every day for quite a while. And today I hold them up and the journey that we've been on together is incredible. And the people they've become as a result, they're extraordinary because of our out of the ordinary tragedy. And so I encourage you over and over again, whatever it is you face, you have the opportunity to make out of the ordinary extraordinary. And my children do that every day, I'm so proud. My Rotary family is here today in force. And um, let me just tell you, they, when I first started speaking, I came and spoke at several Rotary clubs. And so I would go around and, and you know talk about my foundation and what we do. And uh, the Simi Valley Noontime kept saying, if you go anywhere else and become a Rotarian, you know what's going to happen. We're coming for you. <laughs> and so I am a very proud member of the Noontime Rotary Club, and I'm so proud of the difference we make in the world, all Rotarians. So thank you all for being here to support me today. There are two men whose love has completely changed my life. Uh, Philip Hernandez, sweetie. Without you, we would not be here today. And what he taught me is that really one person does make a difference. And sometimes it's losing that person that makes it so clear that one person changes the world. And him, knowing that he changed the world allowed me the opportunity to think that maybe I could too. And without his love, I wouldn't be standing here today. And then I was blessed again. Uh, my husband is with us today, and I'll embarrass him too, shall we? Yes. Uh, my husband, Michael Dare, is here with us today. He's also recorded with him. He helped me believe that taking a risk and creating a life I love again was worth the risk. It's worth the possibility of losing a life that you love to really live a life that you love. And lastly, to my widowed community. It's truly the honor of my life to represent you, to walk with you through every bit of that darkness into the amazing light that lay ahead. Thank you for sharing your love and your stories with me. 